everybody welcome back to the channel today i got the truck back in the garage we're going to start doing the cam valve spring push rod all that swap with it i got vtr push rods and um i'm gonna run the stock with six old lifters for now then i'm gonna swap the trailblazer ss intake onto it the 92 millimeter throttle body i'm gonna get the day started tearing the whole thing down and see what this 260,000 miles six liter looks like and see what the insides just get a good look at it and see if it's still a really good motor it should be i think this motor's gone forever so i'm gonna get started tearing it down and i'll catch up with y'all in a little bit so here's what we're starting with a sick 260,000 miles six liter 317 heads i'm gonna start getting her tore down here and see what the insides look like Like I said, this truck's been not running the best. It's not been running very good at all. So I think I found what the issue was to why it was cutting out and not running right. I guess it could possibly be it. It could be something. All right, I'm going to get this pulled off. Air filter looks good. But that doesn't. I'd say that's probably why it's been running like trash. Big old rat's nest inside of it, stopping the air filter up. So that'd be a good reason why it wasn't running good. We get that. It's a canyon filter. I'm gonna clean it up and reuse it and dump all this trash out. The better already. We got some trash in there. I say that's what it was. All right, guys, I got the intake off of it and the valve cover off this side. It's not really that dirty inside. It's a little dark, but 260,000 my motor. I don't guess it's too bad. But I'm going to work on getting the manifolds and the heads off of it now. I got the heads off. I put the other cam in it and got it timed. 
Now this is kind of more of a sloppy build. It ain't made to be pretty. It's a work truck, car hauler. So I really ain't cleaning nothing up. I sprayed the heads off, took the valves out and changed the valve springs, but I ain't really gonna do a lot with them cleaning wise. I'm just gonna put it back together. It's function over how it looks. I mean, as long as it runs good, I don't care how it looks in this build. But here's the heads. You turn that heater off. So I got the 317 heads. I cleaned them up decently. So I could do the valve seals on it. But like I said, it's a sloppy build, so. It ain't gonna look pretty. It's just gonna work, so. And the Trailblazer SS intake. I'm really not going to be able to use it right now, maybe later on, that somebody cut the end off that when they pulled the motor, so the fuel rails are junk, and those fuel rails will not fit on it, so I'm going to scrap this idea for now, and just put the truck one back on it to get by. Alright, I'm building these heads with some BTR double valve springs, and just the stock heads. I said they ain't the cleanest, but... I'm not trying to make this a nice clean build, it's just a work truck, so I'm going to start putting this head together. Got the heads built and I'll start putting them back on the truck. See, so yeah, I got the BTR valve springs on it, and so they're ready to go. All right, guys, we got the LS9 gasket in it. I'm starting to put head studs in it so I can head, set the head down over it and start putting this back together. Checked everything. I'm getting ready to fire this thing up in a minute. Let's see how it sounds with new cam. But keep in mind, it's a, a turbo spec cam, so it probably won't be nothing crazy choppy. But it's made for a turbo setup. Is on my turbo the truck, so we'll um, get this thing started up. Yeah, as you can see, it's all together. But I did have to use the factory truck intake for now. The fuel rails and the SS intake were messed up, so. I had to go back with this one, but we're going to fire this thing up and see how she sounds. Right here. Hopefully it'll fire her up. She's running. The exhaust is a little rabbit. I gotta work on that next. All 
All right, I'm gonna take it out for its first spin. It's not been tuned yet, so it's just a just a rough old stock tune, I guess you could say. But hopefully, it still runs decently. Men's island fine and everything, so we'll see how it likes it. First test drive with new cam. Seems like it done pretty good. All right, guys, that's all I got for today. We got our first test drive after the cam install. The truck seems to be doing pretty good. I'll get the wide band on it and see what it's doing. See if I'm gonna mess with tuning it before I turbo it. Um, that's all I really got for now. Stay tuned for a lot more coming up with this truck. I'll get back to the car here. Not too much longer, but I wanted to play with the truck for a little while. But um, like, subscribe, check us out. We'll be back with more.